go. And no surprise at all. Matt Nui, beautifully done. Down to Selwood. Long ball, Stevie J. Inside the area. Probably should have marked then. Ball on the deck. He's not allowed to pick the ball up when it's on the deck. Joel Selwood could get used to that sort of service, <laughs> I'm sure. Nat Nui again. Well, how about this? Stevie J gets a second opportunity. Goes for the over and nails it. Good start, Australia. And that's the one, Baz. You're not allowed to pick the ball up if you're on your knees, on the ground. Stevie J to Selwood. Well, we've seen that a bit at Simmons Stadium. We know how good a player is in the AFL. He's started it very well in the international rules. So he goes for the over. Gee, the Australian kicking's been terrific. Rockcliffe. Harvey getting a lot of it too. And here's little kick. Perfect. Just fell at the feet, but well done, Bruce. Got it on the ground. Stevie J trying to break the tackle. Gets the handball away. Brilliant look away. Harvey's kick smothered. Goes again. Did it go over? It was a brilliant save by the keeper. Paddy O'Rourke saving a certain six-pointer. Good tackle on the keeper. Not used to that coming. Harvey, dangerous at this situation in the AFL. What about with the round ball? Went into the man on the mark. Here's a chance. Bruce goes for the six-pointer. Off the post. The keeper takes it. Gets the ball back. Harvey again. It's fast and furious. Rockcliffe. They went looking for Revolt to try and spike it down. Stevie J for three. Star-studded coaching panel, isn't it? Uh, Ross Lyon and Alistair Clarkson. So, as Lingy said, nine points scored by Stevie J. And Australia out to a 14-point lead. And here they come again. Dangerfield. Smith. Rockcliffe with the ball, has a bounce, sends it long, Wingard, well read. We know this guy is a special, specialist marker of the AFL ball, but to do it in the round ball is exceptional. Friday night in Melbourne against North Melbourne for his 400th AFL game. Only two men have got there before. Tuck 426, Bartlett 403. And this is better from Ireland. Captain for the second consecutive series, the star of the game back home, on the equivalent of the Norm Smith medal in 2012 in the All-Ireland final. They need some points, and the skipper delivers. So the restart. On the end of it this time, Kavanagh. This is better. They've got an open man. How do they play on? They're trying to get the ball across. Brilliant tackle, Nick Smith. Ah, oh, superb. Now McGee runs into a little bit of trouble. McDonald, Nat Nui got him. Crowd loves that. Dangerfield takes the advantage. Wingard now can go for the overall, go short. A brilliant pass to Johnson. That's the thing Australia's done really well. All their, all their possessions, Ireland is under pressure. Another great yeah. turnover by Bruce. Really manning the mark well, getting that smother. Definitely attacking the ball carrier straight away. I guess um, Alistair Clarkson's has probably instructed them to do that. And look at that amazing score by Nick Rawls along the body. He retreats to the goalkeeper who will need to go with a long kick and he thumps it to halfway. Revolt to run onto it and oh. good mark. <laughs> How many times have we seen that one? Wilson killed What a champion he is. Reminiscent of the SCG. <laughs> Robbie Gray. Stevie J. And out wide McVay. He's kept running. Now they've got the ball within 45. And well, speaking of keeping running, nobody does it better than Nick Revolt. In the end, just a little dolly. Boat goes down heavily. Mitchell, what about that pick up with the feet? Handball, not so good. Craig, game's gone up a notch again. Here's O'Rourke. Ireland have got numbers. They move the football well. Donnelly, it comes inside. O'Rourke, too slow. Tackled brilliantly by Smith. Become accustomed to in AFL football his massive work rate, but he's just outrunning his opponent. Brilliant reading by Chad Wingard. I wonder if he'll take him on here. Will he go for the six? The little kick to himself. Six pointer no. On the line was it saved? Oh. High tackle. tackle against Revolt. Nick Revolt didn't like it. <laughs> he was always going to be. He's always going to try it, wasn't he? Just that freakish skills. Oh, what a what a sublime player. So Nick Smith gets the ball up the line. It stays in. Boomer Harvey, brilliant. And what about the gift to Montagna? Oh, this is exciting now. They get the ball further forward to Steve Johnson. Electrifying football. Bruce marks on his chest. Grabbed by Wingard again. Bruce, 57-12 last year. We've become accustomed to him kicking everything. Now Stevie J sends it high. The keeper did well. Paddy O'Rourke under it. Clear away. 20 metres, 20 metres. Come this way.
kicks around the body. Tough contest. Begley went to ground. McVeigh waiting down. McVeigh takes them on for three more. They're just looking so dangerous every time they go forward. Ireland, on the other hand, they need run. They need to be able to take the game on and use their speed, which is their advantage. Lingy Mitchell and Hodge with five disposals each to start this third term. We've only gone five minutes. They've been electrifying. Mitchell's up to 18. Hodge to 17. Now a chance for Ireland. Ball comes inside. Hughes for six points. The first six-pointer of the night. Well, what a six-pointer, Satanda. That is a huge moment in the game. Since this man boils up, all of the Irish stars starting to get their hands onto the football. O'Rourke cleverly off the ground. Really good to set it up. They're away here through Hughes. They skip it around. Now McGee. He can use the runner outside. Opportunity for Donnelly. Goes for the over. Another one. That scrambling defence forced it wide. The Irish, they are certainly coming. And here they go again. So maybe just less than two minutes. McKernan off the ground. That was very clever. Well done, Munnelly. Now the high ball's in. The pressure again. Has it got too much? It's an over. Oh, magnificent kick from McKernan. Gray superb. Stevie J's been quieter in this third term. McVeigh into a dangerous area. Defence, they've got a fist on it. Ball alive, on the ground. Tough one to call that. Well done, Dangerfield. Kept the ball alive. Robbie Gray, dangerous from there. Gets the over. You heard the upside number 20. He didn't take it. Moran did. Here's Begley. Well done, Fletcher. Possibly six. Three will do for the Australians. Both started it all off. Rockcliffe involved. And they had to kick then and do. So that was well done. Johnson, Smith, and Wingard marks the boat kick. The Port Adelaide boys. Their awareness now of that situation where the handball's really starting to show, isn't it? Yeah, they're controlling the footy now, Australia. Great build-up here. Mitchell to Jack for the finish in and over to make it really hard. Advantage taken very quickly. Hughes bursts away. They know they haven't got a lot of time. Downfield is the call. Advantage allowed. Ball inside. The skipper Murphy misses. Brilliant save. A kick coming. They score. So this was the clever lead up play. Murphy had the first shot. Missed. And then the ball into the back of the net. So how long have we got to go? Maybe five minutes remaining. Ball into a dangerous position again. Brilliantly done, Fletcher. Come out, 20 metres, 20 metres. Mark Payne. They cough it up, they do. Hanley, well done. Begley, ball across. Brilliantly done by Fletcher. Brilliant by Fletcher, the match-winning move. The oldest man out on the park. And the move of the night from the keeper. Dangerfield now. They keep going, the Australians. A little bit of icing of their own they're looking for. He's got on. Siren sounds. Australia get their first win since 2010.